Yo, what's up? This is update after 13 days. So, how is it today then, right? Actually way better. For the last two days, I haven't had any uh, uh, fever. So I've been checking my temperature and it's about uh, 37 degrees. So the reason why I talk very slowly now is because I wanna just take it easy. Uh, but okay, about my condition, I still have super ultra low power. Like the, like I mentioned before, the worst thing is not recording this video. The worst thing is going upstairs. You know physics, right? Going upstairs and then pee, or even worse take a shower that is highly uh, demanding activity um, so let's see i made a list with stuff i want to talk about yeah so uh, those guys at the I'll, i just call them the call center uh, they asked me to download this app and then every day you have to report before 13 about your condition. They ask the same set of questions every time. And that, uh, that information uh, will uh, determine if you need to go to the hospital or whatever. So I've been reporting uh, it now several days. But I start to wonder if uh, I can stop reporting soon. And, well, yeah, speaking of the, the, the call center, the way I experienced that they have dealt with this is both good and bad. So let's start with the good things first. Uh, many times, yeah, some nice lady or guy calls me, uh, speaks slowly and explains to me what's going to happen or if they have questions they will ask me questions and also uh, for wifey she couldn't go out outside to take the test so uh, they ordered test at home without any cost i heard she said something about that it will cost uh, around uh, 600 700 euros but you we don't have to pay anything so that's great but then the not so great things sometimes some stressed dude calls me speaks way too fast and I'm like what, 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 what? like I wonder where the heck they hire these guys from uh, that call center because they they should have been trained that you have to deal with people who are recovering from COVID. They might not pay attention to what you say, so speak slowly. And also, uh, yesterday, I had to ask them, hey, um, how long am I supposed to stay home now? I mean, I, I passed the 12 day mark of isolation. And he was like, oh, let me check. And then I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And they said that, well, uh, we have to de-isolate you, but uh, they need to know how long I have not had fever. And it turns out I haven't had fever for the last two days, which actually uh, qualifies for uh, you know, de-isolation. But they said, okay, we're gonna call you tonight. That was yesterday, because I said that I usually have fever in the evening. Okay, so they said, yeah, I'm going to call you at 10 tonight. Last night, I waited and waited, told wifey that, okay, get ready, uh, There's so someone's going to call me at 10. She was like, huh, that late? Yeah. Did they call me? No. 
I don't know what kind of system they use over there, but it's just a big mess. And also, when they call, you know, when once you get a positive result from the test, it triggers automatically that uh, they, this, uh, the call center will call you. So I was expecting it. Um, yeah, by the way, wifey got the result now. She is also corona positive. <laughs> so as expected, they call her and start asking questions. And well, I took the phone and I helped her answer the questions. And they said, yeah, so we're gonna, I told her, I mean, I told them that wifey didn't leave the house didn't meet any, anyone. So there's no need to trace anything there, at least. And yeah, and they said, okay, yeah, we're gonna send you this form anyways, you know, to fill in. Uh, just like the one I filled in. And then, oh yeah, and also the, the app, like I mentioned, the, the app where you have to report every day. Okay, uh, so the, the SMS came with the app, like App Store for iPhone or Android, but the form never came. Like what, what kind of system do they use there really? I mean, if they say something, they should just write, I mean, it should just go into the system and then go automatically. The way I've, I mean, it sounds like it's just a big mess, that system. And also, as for me, when, uh, when, when they initially called me many, many days ago and asked me, okay, uh, so after you got sick, where else have you been? And I was like, okay, well, I was at that guy, at the Polestar guy, I went to the bank and so on. So he, well, he's a woman, uh, he's a woman, but she kept asking me all these questions and I gave her all the answers. And then they sent me this form and then I had to answer the exact same thing there. Why, really? I mean, these guys have, have they not done any uh, user interface uh, stuff before? You know, a user is not supposed to input the same uh, information twice. Yeah. So, man, I had another point, but I kind of forgot about it. But okay, anyway, let me check my time here. So I don't want to run, run out of here. And one more thing though. Many people, well, you know, they try to be uh, online doctors and they, they know the best, of course. Uh, and many people, they they be like, ah, oh, Bjorn, of course you're so bad because you, you have a bad diet. You keep eating burgers and, and hot dogs all the time. Okay, where do I start? You know, uh, you know, when I make those videos, where I charge the car to 100% and then I do a range test. The mistake I do is that I show in the video, I show that, oh yes, we have been charging for two hours now from 70% to 200% and it took two hours. And then some people, they just enter my channel, they just see, because it might be like some, uh, a Mach E or something, you know, they had never heard about my channel. They get over there, they're like, 
oh, it takes two hours to fully charge uh, an electric car. And then a comment, hey, this is useless. Uh, I prefer my diesel. I can't wait two hours to fully charge the car. I'm like, gee, you guys know also, right? So when it comes to my diet, on average, I actually eat very, very little burger. I, I can trace it, how few burgers I eat. Because most of the burgers are from Circle K. And Circle K, they have this burger deal that every sixth burger is for free. So I can actually go back and trace how many burgers I eat, but it's actually very little. <coughs> but again, some people, they just get in my channel and they be like, he's eating burger, man. And they, they look at that one frame, time frame where I was out and I just happened to eat the burger. And what do they do? They take that one and they multiply it for the rest of the week. And they assume that I eat burger for the whole week. You guys know that assumption is the mother of all fucks up. <clears throat> I know I didn't say it correctly. So, I don't know if I need to explain this further. Okay, let me do it. Many, many times when I go to uh, Shell, they have this matpakke, which is bread with egg, or I call it brown cheese, but it's uh, it's uh, goat cheese, yeah, uh, and other goodies. Very healthy food. And also at Circle K, Dal, where I go a lot, recently I started uh, enjoying the big Mexican. And do you know what it is? It's actually called taco salad. And okay, don't care about that. It's not Mexican or whatever, but I just call it the Mexican. But it's, it's a salad with vegetables, lots and lots of vegetables, uh, corn, uh, salsa. Uh, I don't know all the ingredients, but it's a taco salad. So I tried once the, the tortilla salad. I mean, it's called tortilla or whatever, but that one just had the bowl full of tortilla. I didn't like it. And for people who've been uh, actually watching me, uh, they see that they should know that every time I have the opportunity to eat healthy food on the on a trip, I will do it. Especially people who've been watching my Nimbo trips back in the days. Uh, at Burkland's Heia, I would always go to Euros Bar and buy salad. I love salad. And remember, you can't just take one frame there and multiply for the rest of the week. <clears throat> Yeah, I was thinking, why the heck do I even have to say this, right? Sounds like, I was just asking myself, what the heck am I doing? Well, it's actually necessary because many, many people, they get the wrong idea. And also when I'm home, I eat lots of healthy food. Wifey makes food or I make food for her, and, uh, for us. And that means that, okay, so when you see me eat that burger or those hot dogs, it's like, it's like the cheat day. And then you can ask yourself, do you never ever eat any like unhealthy food?
And also remember that I never drink alcohol and I never smoke. So um, sometimes it just gets really ridiculous. Like I'm doing my videos and some people, they, they comment that, hey Bjorn, uh, do you remember how your wife looked like? I'm like, what, what the, get out of here. Like, let me explain to you how stuff works. You know, when I do the range test, I do several videos in one day. First, I go to Dahl. I do the whole intro. My wife has just woke up now. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, I just lost focus a little bit here. But uh, so you guys probably did, never noticed this, but when I go to Dahl, I own the uh, Circle K. I charge the car to 100%. And then I do the range test. And then I also do the 120 test. But after that one, I also do the charge test right after. And then very often I also right after go and do the acceleration and noise test. And that means that in one day I can do three sets of video. And that means I work one day and I have video uh, material for three days. And it's not only that one, many other videos also, I can shoot many videos in one day. And then I actually stay home a lot. So people who also, I don't know if they are trying to troll me or something, be like, man, are you never ever home? <laughs> I'm more home than you, buddy. Yeah. I'm okay. Wife was coughing a lot yesterday, but uh, she seems way better today. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to uh, fill up that form for her. That's her. No, no, what on a puma? The test now. But anyway, I think that's going to be it. This update. <laughs> it's weird because I actually wanted to n avoid making this one because it's 13. Yeah, but they say that the worst is over around 12, 13. So, well, we'll see. But, uh, I'm still on ultra low power mode. It's going to take a while to go back. So that's it for now then. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.